The federal government has unveiled a policy document that would facilitate the training of articulated vehicle drivers for both local and international engagement. The Executive Secretary, National Board for Technical Education, NBTE, Professor Idris Bugaje, disclosed this in Abuja at a presentation of the National Skills Qualification, NOS Level 3, for articulated vehicle driving. Bugaje said that the project was under the National Skills Qualification Framework of the agency to train manpower that can compete favorably with their counterparts across the globe. He said the development of the NOS training of articulated vehicle drivers was in line with the present administration's desire to lift 100 million Nigerians out of poverty. Local needs abound, especially in infrastructural projects such as the Mambila Power Project and others. And there are a lot of low hanging fruits outside the country for heavy truck drivers. The UK in particular has reports have indicated they have a skills gap of about 5,000 truck drivers, heavy truck drivers. At the moment, it is the Royal Army that is filling those gaps. In Canada, there are thousands of gaps in heavy truck drivers, so in other parts of the world. And we feel this is an opportunity for Nigerian youth to be trained and properly certified so that they can fill up those gaps across the globe. This is important because globalization, as we are aware, is reducing the entire world into a village. And the African Free Trade Zone initiative, which is coming out very soon, is going to allow labor mobility across the continent. Just like across ECOWAS, we have mobility of skilled labor. And we know how the construction industry in Nigeria has been dominated by Francophone West African countries. So the same thing will happen in all other sectors. And the earlier we start training our young people on these important skills, the better for us and the better for the national economy. Also, the Corps Marshal, Federal Road Safety Corps, Dr. Boboye Oyeyemi, commended the initiative, saying that it would add value to the lives of the youths as well as the country at large. This is something we have been advocating for when it comes to skill acquisition. There must be documents to back it up for remuneration. There must be documents to back it up as per the statute to make sure it works. And this now is in conformity with the, with the responsibility and the regulatory services of the Federal Road Safety Court. With all this that is coming on board now, the nation is moving forward. We have a population of 203 million Nigerians. Europe is lacking drivers now. These are the kind of documents when they ask you which are the documents you are using to guide in the training and certification of our drivers. When you produce this kind of thing, then we should also start exporting skilled personnel. In developed countries, it's not the issue of paper qualification. It's in the area of skills acquisition. If we can follow this document and train about 2,000 drivers, we export them they will start remitting money to the country. In the same vein, Mrs. Elizabeth Adedigba, Director, Technology and Science Education, who represented the Minister of Education, Malam Adamo Adamo, commended the project. When I went through the manual, I can see that it's very, very rich and it's going to be a bridge the gap that has been on in this particular area of driving. On behalf of the Honorable Minister, we are going to unveil and then do the public presentation of these documents to the glory of God and for the use of Nigerians that will benefit from these trainings and to bridge that gap and to ensure that Nigerians are, who are interested in this area are gainfully employed.